Hey guys, it's Shadlight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. Today it's another speed paint traditional. I'm using my watercolor, which the Reeves 24 watercolor set, tube paints. I'm using the Canson 300 GSM watercolor pad. I'm using a Pentel water brush and I used a Unipin 05 fine liner for the lines, which because my phone is a very smart thing it apparently ran out of space and deleted my footage for the lining process i did record it but my phone is a very smartphone huh <sighs> so i guess we're starting with coloring today <laughs> kind of sucks because you really took a lot of time to work on the lines uh you wait, wait. Today we're doing fan art of Mashu Kairi Light from Fate Grand Order. And if you've watched my channel, you know that I'm a fan of the game. I'm a fan of the franchise in general. My favorite servant is actually Archer. And if we're talking about the main series, like Stay Night, Unlimited Blade, um, Unlimited Code, my favorite um, servant is Archer Emiya. But in Grand Order, my favorite is Archer David. And David, Archer David is actually the first traditional speed paint I did on my channel because my camera was finally good enough, or my phone rather, was good enough to record a speed paint. So we're doing another speed paint. <laughs> right. So as I did mention, we're doing Mashu from Fate Grand Order. And Fate Grand Order, if you don't know what it is, it's a mobile game based on the Fate franchise, turn-based card collection sort. Uh, it has a bit of a story, but you just kind of... There's no translation nor an English version yet, so you just have to search online for some form of translation. So Mashu is your first servant, she's your starter, you're her senpai. <laughs> She really does call you senpai, senpai by the way, that's not just me, like, um, <laughs> so, kind of reading of the wiki here, Mashu isn't technically a servant, she's human, uh, she fused with a servant becoming a demi-servant, which is unique to the Grand Order series, where, as I mentioned, a servant does fuse with humans. And gives them powers akin to that of a servant. So Mashu is that of the Shielder class. Again, this is exclusive to Fate Grand Order. Uh, it's the class is made for Grand Order, and she's a defense um, buff up type. She's sort of support. Um, you do your first roll right away when when you play the game, so you will immediately have maybe an attacking servant. I got David, Marie Antoinette, Carmilla, um, who else did they get? Billy the Kid, etc. So, because just kinda released, even though Babylonia already released, so it's not as new, but Camelot just released, and Mash is kinda connected to Camelot. Okay, if you don't want to hear who Mash's servant is, is like like I did with Saber with Saber's um fan art, close your ears for like a minute because I will be revealing who Mash's servant is. Five, four, three, two, one. So Mash's um fused servant is actually Galahad, which is why I did mention Saber and why she's the next servant I did after Saber, because Saber you know, Blue Saver with the Excalibur is Arthur from the Knights of the Round Table legend, and Mashu, her servant, is a Knight of the Round Table. So, yeah. But, well, actually, if you read the wiki, you would know this already since it's in the description. Also, what you saw just now, I didn't skip. The rest of the curtains on purpose, it was because my camera, again, is a bit of a very, very smart phone. I decided to cut it without letting me know. So I lost some footage. So either way, um, about Mashu, 
I tend to eat my starters because I just tend to get attached to them. And Mashu seems to be Mashu and Jean the Arc, who is a ruler type class or Avenger, if you're talking about her alter. But uh, normal John and Mashu seems to be who they're trying to push to be your waifu for fate though not Saber, not not Artoria. She's got her chance. She's got her time with Shiro. Um yeah, it does in promotional stuff, it's either John or Mashu. Hmm. Either way. So either way. <laughs> about the piece itself, it's I really intended it to look like or very similar to that from Saber's fan art that I did. I'll leave a link somewhere linking to that. Um, because they are part of the round table thing. Um, the curtains, yeah. Actually, the hardest part was getting the color for a mash shield. Uh, if you play the game, you know, it's a bluish, brownish, gray, dark color. And I couldn't really figure out what color combination to get to get it. But I know those are brown. So I started with a yellow ochre. And then I did a burnt umber over it. And then paints gray and or black depending on what part I'm working on. And I got pretty close I think. It was kind of tough though. It took a lot of layers to get to. For the curtains, I used a phthalo blue. And some purple mixed with a bit of paints gray I think so but it's very light so it's mostly blue for Mashu it's purple with the paints gray mix because that's what the color really is so right now Mashu's outfit is or her armor rather looks very dull I'll be sprucing that up later with some highlights so the highlights really did a lot of work for me Also, I know that Mashu's shield is actually a lot smaller than this, but I really wanted to use it as a background for her that she could lean up against. So I made it a tad big. It's a bit big. The shield itself in game is around a head higher than her. This is a bit bigger than that. But yeah, <laughs> creative flexibility, something. So here you can see me laying in on as much color as possible to tone down the brown and the warm colors that I used as the base and then trying to make it really cool. And I thought of adding blue but that might just screw everything over. So I stuck to using paints gray which is a bluish black and normal black This very yellowish in turn. Balancing colors are, ha are really hard. I really did enjoy drawing this though, um, even though David is my absolute favorite servant, I really do like Mashu. And weirdly enough, I guess because of the anime or something, Mashu's voice actress kind of changed, I think. Um, when you first, when I first played Fate Go, it was a slightly more cooler voice, like a, a colder tone voice. Uh, less cute, more serious and mature. but. Somewhere during the, I don't know, I didn't play for a while, but when I updated the game again, her voice is different. It was like younger and more cute and more like senpai type of voice. And it, I was surprised because I do use her Noble Phantasm a lot, which is a buff up. Uh, it's a defense up Phantasm. And I usually push that before the enemy would bring out their phantasm so it's either i use her or david because david has a evase evade one attack skill mashu has that double defense up skill and then i would chain that with a attack double phantasm 
either way. Uh, so I'm surprised because I do use Smash a lot for her skills, and it it was a little bit off-putting because I did like the very mature, colder toned Mashu over the new cutesy Mashu. So, uh, oh well. New anime though. I'm kind of hyped for that. I really want to see how they work Gudao on or. What is his, I don't know what his anime name is, but Gudao is what we call him. So, the video is ending, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and or subscribe. I do a lot of fan art, character design, traditional and digital art. Um, follow me on Thumb to Instagram and DeviantArt, and I'll see you around.